Hey, what's up guys? This is Steve Harmon with Synthrotech and uh, we are excited to announce yet another new module. It is called the MDiv. Why is it called the MDiv? Because it is a multiplier and a divider of clocks and it's a very cool module in 4HP and it's gonna be a DIY kit of course. It's going to be a PCB panel with programmed IC and it's gonna be completed by us um, here in Idaho. So let me go through the, the, the different features of this module and uh, you're gonna find that it's very cool. So number one here at the core, what we have here is a tap tempo button, which is great. I mean, that's just useful by itself to be able to kind of um, listen to clocks as they're happening or listen to beats and tap into them. We're just gonna start off what you like. And um, this tap tempo works great, kicks you out a master clock output uh, gives you an LED white indicator and it sets the master clock that the other two clocks um, derive their division or multiplication from. So it's two channels of either division or multiplication. And you can choose that with a switch here per channel. So what you have per channel is you have a CV input you have a division per, per channel here. For, you can either do division or multiplication, as I said. There's a reset, and there is a clock output per channel. Like I said, there's two of them. And the way that works is you have one through eight and then 16, and it'll either multiply, and you'll get an LED indicator here on that slide pot that tells you what it's doing um, based upon this clock. It'll either multiply or divide by eight and 16 all the way up there. And you got, I said, like you have two channels of that. So that's pretty fun. Um, the clock input here will override the tap. And so if you have an external clock, you can use that instead. CV, what that does is it changes your divisor or your multiplier by CV, which is very cool. So if you're, let's just say, for example, if you are all the way here at one and you give it plus five volts, it'll bring it to 16. If you're all the way up to 16 and you give it negative five volts, it'll bring it down to one and then in between as well. So the swing there is plus five to negative five will affect um, what divisor you're at. Of course, you can choose to divide or multiply. That's pretty straightforward. All right, let's talk about this patch. Uh, what I'm using here is the pocket operator rhythm. Uh, to be my main um, drum line. And uh, that's gonna be coming, what, what's gonna be driving the clock on, on the pocket upper rhythm is going to be just the main clock output. And I've tapped a tempo that I do like here. Um, coming out of channel one, I'm going into the, the channel one of the dual mini sequencer, and that's gonna be driving the clock of that sequencer. And the uh, second output here is going into the dual mini sequencer, sequencer two, and that's driving that one. So essentially this allows us to have a rhythm that is solid with the master clock. And then we've got two clocks that we can divide or multiply. And let's hear how that sounds. Well, right now this is going with the tap, so you can see how that'll change. Let's find something a little more, a little more useful. I like that. Let's put this guy up here because it's so special. And if we hit play and run, I should say, on sequencer one. And let's hit play on the second one. So they're both going at one time, same speed as the clock, and we're in multiply mode, so let's go a little faster on uh, sequencer one. And of course we can go faster. And I can drop back into time.
very useful. Let's go faster. So let's say we got a faster beat, and we want just channel two to be slower. Let's try that. Let's put a divide mode on channel two. And maybe have a longer decay. Okay, guys, I want to show you how the CV controlling the divisions and multiplications work. So in um, channel the sequencer two here of the dual MIDI sequencer, I've just got our same uh, melody coming through. And But the sequencer from channel one, I'm using that CV to change the speed of the clock. And using this can be really interesting for making more interesting rhythms. So let me just turn that up and show you what I mean. So I'm having the CV from sequencer one change the the speed of the clock in number two. Essentially with this module, it allows you to have simultaneously actually three clocks because this output is always gonna be stable to whatever you tap or you bring it. And of course this also works in divisions as well. So if we pop it over to division, the CV will now make patch longer. Let's also now look at our reset. If it's faster, it may not just divide or multiply. It might just stop. So it's kind of a sweet spot to be able to make it reset. more rhythmically. Okay, so I'm, I'm glad we got this product out because this is one of the most essential modules you can have if you want to have different timed rhythm um, affecting different sequences. It, it, it's really how you're going to start making complex patches having this um, kind of clock dividing. So of course, like we said, this is going to be out in kit, PCB panel, and in a fully assembled module. It's coming out soon, and, the, and if you like the, the timbres you heard here, of course, that uh, it's really being affected here by our wonderful low-pass gate, our analog VCOs, and our pingy ADSRs. Uh, thank you so much for, uh, for watching the video. Thank you so much for um, caring about what we do. Um, we really love you guys, our fans. Thank you.